A new means of underground transport similar to a wheelless train or a wingless aeroplane, able to carry passengers in perfect safety at over 500 kilometers an hour? That's what Swiss Metro is proposing. Follow us in this adventure and discover why, with Swiss Metro, the future is now. Swiss Metro was born in Switzerland to provide a remedy for the saturation of the road and rail network without spoiling the landscape. Swiss Metro proposes a new, completely underground form of passenger transport based on the very latest technology, highly ecological and environment friendly. It will travel at over 500 kilometers an hour in small diameter tunnels situated some 50 meters below the surface connecting the main cities firstly of Switzerland and subsequently of Europe and, why not, of other continents. It will be driven by linear electric motors and will glide on magnetic levitation without any contact with the track. Moreover, given the reduced air pressure in the tunnels, it will save considerable amounts of energy. Passengers will buy their Swiss Metro tickets at railway stations in city centres for fares very similar to those which would be paid for intercity trains. After passing the checking gate, they will take the lift down to the boarding station, some 50 metres below street level. A system of airlocks will hold a vehicle hermetically attached to the embarkation zone, permitting passengers to board without noticing the partial vacuum in the tunnels. Passengers will take their seats in the modern Swiss Metro shuttle and will reach their destinations in just a few minutes. Fully automatic vehicles fitted with all modern conveniences will carry 200 to 800 seated passengers and will leave at intervals of less than 10 minutes. In order to reach high speeds in complete safety, the Swiss Metro vehicle will be driven by a linear electric motor. The classic electric motor comprises a coil, the stator, which, fed with an alternating electric current, causes an enclosed ferromagnetic rotor to spin. By unrolling this structure, a linear motor is obtained, characterized by a ferromagnetic core, which, instead of spinning, glides across the coil without touching it. In the case of Swiss Metro, the mobile part of the motor will be fixed to the vehicle, while the static part will be located along the tunnel. Thank you. 
launching a shuttle underground at over 500 kilometers an hour requires another advanced technology that eliminates wheels and contact rails, the magnetic levitation and guidance system. A series of electromagnets fixed to the shuttle, combined with a reaction ferromagnetic rail laid along the tunnel, will be able to raise the shuttle up to two centimeters from the track and keep it constantly in the optimal position by regulating the force of attraction of the magnets. Finally, to reduce aerodynamic drag and keep the tunnel diameter as small as possible, it will be necessary to evacuate air from the tunnel, creating a partial vacuum similar to atmospheric conditions at an altitude of 15,000 meters. This will ensure optimal energy consumption, making Swiss Metro both an economical and an ecological form of high-speed transport. Indeed, if we take account of the occupancy rates of all means of transport, Swiss Metro will be far faster and cheaper than car or train. This great advantage will undoubtedly count towards its success. After having covered approximately 100 kilometers in under 15 minutes, the Swiss Metro vehicle reaches the next station. In just three minutes, passengers disembark, others board, and the vehicle is off to the next stop. At the terminal, there is a special turntable, like the cylinder of a revolver, which can swing the vehicle round from one tunnel to another, ready for immediate departure in the opposite direction. The Swiss Metro system is initially planned to be developed in Switzerland, forming a national network crossing the country from east to west, from Geneva to St. Gallen, and from north to south, from Baal to Bellinzona, with later additions to Sion and Chur. The high speeds that Swiss Metro can reach will enable it to cover the distances between Swiss towns in as little as 12 minutes, thus making Switzerland one single large metropolis. Subsequently, the national network is to be extended beyond Swiss borders, so that Swiss Metro will become a true Euro Metro, linking Munich to Lyon or Amsterdam to Milan. The first leg of the Swiss Metro network is planned to link the international town of Geneva to Lausanne, where Swiss Metro was born, along the shores of Lake Geneva. This phase could be up and running by the year 2010. The trip of about 60 kilometers will last less than 12 minutes. The idea of Swiss Metro was conceived in Switzerland to overcome saturation on road and rail. Indeed, because of the mountainous nature of the country and the high population density, together with restrictive environmental protection laws, the creation of new surface means of transportation appears very difficult nowadays. So an underground transport system is the only possible solution remaining. <laughs> 